Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Ang dokumentaryong ito ay magiging malaga dahil ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang isang pamahal sa atin ng kalikasan na tunay ng mahalaga at kapakipakinabang. Ang ating paksa ngayon ay tungkol sa isang renewable energy resource na napakakaraniwan sa panahon ngayon ngunit marami sa atin ay hindi pangyayari. Atin ngayon baybayin kung ano nga ba ang enerhiya nagmumula sa araw o mas kilala bilang solar energy. From the term itself, solar energy is the energy that comes from the sun. It is known that it can be of many significant uses. Many sectors of the industry now use solar energy to provide better performance in living, especially in terms of commercial and residential solutions. It has been looked upon as a serious source of energy because of the vast amounts of energy that can be made freely available when it is harnessed by technology. For us to be able to clearly know about solar energy, we need to find its real-life application, which is why our team had decided to find a place where solar energy is primarily used. During our search, we are able to find a solar farm in Valenzuela, Metro Manila, and this is where we get to explore more about solar energy. We've traveled all the way to Valenzuela City in order to see for ourselves the site of this solar farm which is said to provide electricity to leading distribution companies and is also the largest of its kind in any city in the Philippines. Actually, uh, I joined the last June, but I started last year. I started last year. I started the possibility of Sa uh, which uh, the mayor of Venezuela is very happy to know that uh, there are investors, there are investors that are not happy with the solar farm in Venezuela. So, the uh, construction March last year. Malaking bagay yung yung power na yung na-generate ang natin sa mga park. Uh, actually, marami naman mga independent power producers. Meron mga windmill, meron solar, hydraulic. This is uh, a renewable, safe, harmless uh, way to generate power. Yung core concept ng solar is really light. So, sunlight, yung uh, panel na yan is called the uh, photovoltaic TV module. So, marami siya says na uh, yung sunlight nakakonvert niya sa electricity, which is a direct current. natin kung paano gumagana mga solar panels. Alamin naman natin kung paano kinoconvert ang ink mula sa araw sa orienting napapakinabangan ng mga. This solar farm is managed by Valenzuela Solar Energy Incorporation. The new 11-hectare power plant holds 32,692 solar panels intended to generate 8.6 megawatts of power as a renewable source of energy for Meralco. The solar farm can provide power to roughly 17,614 households in Valenzuela and can offset approximately 5,473 tons of carbon emissions per year. The 32,000 solar panels installed have weather-resistant features and were perfectly suited for the Philippines' hot and humid climate. The Solar Power Farm Company also provides selected schools with solar panels as part of their corporate social responsibility to help them save some funds from electricity bills. Furthermore, 80% of the company's offered job vacancies were allocated for the residents of Barangay Isla. We've also interviewed engineer Sherwin Tan to explain to us how exactly does their solar farm convert solar energy into electricity. He did not allow us to interview any of the workers in their solar farm but was able to tell us about the job opportunities that was offered to them prior to the opening of the solar farm. <music> Ang hinahin 
From what we have learned from engineer Sherwin Tan, each of their solar panel has the capability to produce 260 watts of power, which is already enough to operate a light bulb and a television. And with about 32,000 solar panels, this will sum up to approximately 8.6 kilowatts of power in one complete operation. The solar panels are connected to each other in a series connection. The power produced by the panels is then transferred to a charge controller which collects all the electricity produced by the panels. The controllers are connected to the solar panels in a parallel connection. For this process, the solar panels already produce 700 volts DC of electricity. This is then passed through an inverter. In this part, the direct current is inverted to alternating current. The 700 volts DC would be then converted to 315 volts AC. The alternating current will pass through a transformer which makes the 315 volts AC to 34.5 kilovolts AC. The power produced is then transferred to Meralco, which is responsible for the distribution of power to the community. In summary, Solar panels are photovoltaic devices which are composed of many solar cells. This converts sunlight directly into electricity. These individual devices are joined together to make a solar panel. These are set in large-scale fields covering many acres to collect and produce electricity. This process of creating electricity from the sun can power up our home and city. Solar energy produces no air pollutants or carbon dioxide. The only downside to this source of technology is that the power only exists as long as the sun is up. It is truly important to have an alternative source of energy which is renewable. Aside from the energy which comes from fossil fuels, which is mainly used for the operation of gasoline-based vehicles and factories all around the globe, because this produces harmful chemicals as a byproduct that contributes to the destruction of our environment. Deforestation is clearing Earth's forests on a massive scale, cutting down trees, trees that play a critical role in absorbing greenhouse gases that fuel global warming. Not just that, but even burning of plastic and rubbers and smoke coming out from factories contribute to global warming. The increase in temperature has been melting ice worldwide, which includes mountain glaciers and sea ice. This of course a rise in our sea level, making floods more common. If we do not take steps to reduce global warming, it will lead to loss of human lives, plants, and animals. Before this documentary ends, we would like to recommend the use of renewable energy resources like solar energy as a substitute for fossil fuels which are considered as the forerunners of global warming and the contribution of the talents and skills required in order to enhance the efficiency of the gathering and conversion of renewable energy sources into the energy that we need. As a citizen living under one roof, it is our obligation and duty to protect our Mother Earth in any possible way that we can.